The nation's top doctor announced his four-year-old daughter has tested positive for COVID-19. Yes, yeah, Surgeon General Vivek Murthy made the announcement on Twitter and said he wished a vaccine was available for kids under the age of five. He tweeted, staring at my daughter's positive test, I asked myself the same questions many parents have asked. Will my child be okay? Could I have done more to protect her? Was this my fault? In these moments, it doesn't matter if you're a doctor or surgeon general. We are parents first. And this all comes as cases across the U.S. are dropping, including infections in children. There were more than one million reported cases in kids during the week ending January 20th. That is down to nearly 300,000 cases reported just last week. And many governors are now citing these low case numbers as a reason to loosen COVID restrictions, including mask mandates. But some want masks to remain mandatory for kids and teachers in schools. We want to now bring in Dr. Tracy Beth Hogue. Tracy is a physician and epidemiologist affiliated with the Sierra Nevada Memorial Hospital. She's also a research associate at the University of California, Davis. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Um, you joined more than 1,000 medical and health professionals in signing a statement to really encourage the return of uh, to 2019 norms, if you will, for kids. The statement says, quote, the unintended consequences of pandemic restrictions are now a greater risk to our children than COVID, and we must act on that reality. You are suggesting that masks be optional in schools beginning today. What evidence supports uh, your recommendation? Yeah, that's right. So um, I was one of the founding co-authors of this group. And um, I should mention, I'm also a, a Danish citizen, a Danish American double citizen, and have been following epidemiologically what's been happening there and here. And we need to keep in mind that, first of all, children are at generally very low risk from COVID-19 on par with uh, seasonal influenza. And now with Omicron, it may be about a third to that uh, of that risk. And adults and those who are high risk have access to effective vaccinations against severe disease. And so we feel it's time to restore a sense of normalcy to children and allow them to learn and interact in an, uh, in an unhampered fashion. Um, and um, I should also mention that really at this point in the pandemic that we do not have strong evidence that mask mandates of children in schools have actually been effective at curbing the spread of COVID-19 within the schools. So um, we should really, you know, look at the harms and the benefits of what we're doing to children and ask if it's worth continuing masking in schools. And I and my co-authors feel like uh, that, that the um, benefits of masking, which we really haven't been able to identify in schools, do not outweigh the harms, particularly to young children and uh, English language learners, et cetera. And Dr. Hogue, we know that kids over the age of five are eligible to become vaccinated, but we're seeing a big gap in the rates between kids and adults. 31% of children ages five to 11 have had at least one dose of the vaccine compared to 87% of adults. Why do you think that gap is so large? And this far into the pandemic, how do you think you can convince more parents to get their children vaccinated? Because of course those children grow and become exposed and can then be another pool of potential, uh, you know, COVID recipients. Yeah, you know, I think many parents have the uh, correct, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding that children are actually at much lower risk from COVID-19 than adults. And so it's, uh, you know, it, it's it's appropriate that maybe there are not as many parents rushing out to get uh, their children vaccinated. That being said, they should feel like it's safe to do so. Um, but I, I think we've also seen the same percentages, similar percentages in Europe that, you know, um, that adults and especially older adults are being vaccinated and boosted in a much higher rate. And that's really much higher yield than focusing on vaccinating children. Though I would say I and my co-authors uh, at Urgency of Normal, we really, you know, encourage parents uh, who are, especially who have children who might be at high risk of COVID-19 to get their children vaccinated. 
But it's also important to point out that now, especially with Omicron, that the vaccinations are not reliably preventing transmission from one person to another. So the, the vaccination rate should not be used, among children should not be used as um, a reason to hold up a return to normalcy in schools. All right, Dr. Tracy Beth Hogue, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you.